Good afternoon, I'm Malcolm Jordan and this is your Midday News Fix for Thursday the 15th of February. Quick actions from firefighters in Christchurch have so far saved properties from being damaged by the 630 hectare blaze. The effort involves 80 firefighters, 13 helicopters and two planes with a fire break from Worsley Spur to Dyers Pass Road. A state of emergency was declared last night for Christchurch City, including Banks Peninsula and the Selwyn District, and about 80 properties have been evacuated. News Talk ZB's Blake Benny told Kerry Woodham it's a very coordinated effort. There's a lot of commentary around the learnings from the fires seven years ago. They've taken those learnings and they're applying them to this situation, which obviously is very eerily similar. And Civil Defence Group controller Richard Ball says the fire's threatening Christchurch Adventure Park. It is just on the boundaries of the Adventure Park. It hasn't spread into the heart of the Adventure Park as it did previously. And police manager Ash Tab says disaster tourists trying to snap a picture to post online need to keep away. With social media, people are trying to get shots onto their social media accounts. So we just, as I said, we're encouraging people not to come into the area just to have a look. Fire and Emergencies' Brad Mosby says it's too early to say what's caused the blaze. It's still early stages of ascertaining how the fire started. Fire investigators on scene today. Meanwhile, Kennedy's Bush resident, Rude Kleinpaster, has left his home. He says they weren't going to endure a repeat of the 2017 fire. To be quite honest, it's the, the stress of those memories that really made us say, look, we're going, that's it. And Canterbury fire crews have also been kept busy by two other fires west of Christchurch. They've contained a grass fire in Rolleston and are extinguishing hotspots from a scrub fire near Oxford. Meanwhile, one person's died in a house fire in Oportiki in Bay of Plenty. Kiwi Rail's chair is attempting to deflect criticism over Auckland's train network issues. David McLean fronted MPs on the Transport Select Committee this morning, but he was keen to focus on the state-owned transport company's strengths. We encourage you to look beyond the headlines um, and dive deeper into the business and, and the issues. McLean was still forced to explain why Auckland train services were cancelled because of overheating tracks. He puts it down to Kiwi Rail being given insufficient funding. The current model for funding the metro networks is not uh, fit for purpose effectively. And Infrastructure New Zealand head Nick Leggett told the Front Page podcast he agrees under investments the culprit. There has not been enough investment over long periods of time in renewing and maintaining assets that really keep our country moving every day and keep us healthy and connected. To the US, at least one person has died and 14 others injured after a shooting at the Kansas City Super Bowl homecoming parade. Kansas City Police's Stacey Graves says police have two people in custody. We had over 800 law enforcement officers at the location to keep everyone safe. Because of bad actors, which were very few, this tragedy occurred. To sport, reluctance from Crusaders coach Rob Penny to go into the reasons All Black Will Jordan will miss their Super Rugby Pacific opener against the Chiefs in Hamilton next week. Rising football fern Macy Fraser is heading home from the Oceania Women's Olympic qualifier in Samoa after suffering a mild concussion. And Rafael Nadal has pulled out of his planned return to tennis at the Qatar Open next week, saying he's not yet ready to play after withdrawing from the Australian Open last month with a muscle tear. I'm Malcolm Jordan. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at 5pm from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.